there we go now. There's the siren. It's final quarter. Kalani Vale versus Nelson Bay. Awesome tackle to start off the quarter. In a contest. Lucky Sefi Balkan handled that or else should have been done for holding the ball. Norton. Norton had a good run. Back to the Bombers back line. Acton. Jared Miller. Good handball by Sims. Page out to There's a mark by number 19. Jesse Jakubowski. Jakubowski, whoever wants to say it. Jesse Jakubowski. She's played good all game. One of the bombers, I mean, the Marlins key forward, sorry. One of their key players in the third line. Back to Acton, to Wood. Wood kicks out to oh, umpires called free kick. I think it might be a free kick to the Marlins. Oh no, it's a free kick to Jenkins, I think. We're supposed to provide a Jenkins, uh, ball's gone out on the full again. Or someone else is injured, I think. Someone else thinks someone's injured. As far as I'm concerned, I don't see anyone lying down. But anyway, it's game on again. And the ball is starting to flow back the way of the Marlins. Having another contest. Jakubowski. Tori McDonald's just starting to foot her off. Good chest mark by Dixie Butler. Hopefully she can keep the ball flying. The bomber's way. There's Ashley Page. Hopefully the skipper can keep the ball flowing the bomber's way so then they can get another goal. The Marlins have done pretty well in their defence line too. It's not just the Bombers that have done good, but the Marlins are the ones leading. 139 to 5535. It's gone out on the full. Out to pay. Oh, and the page that would have been a great mark. Keeps it out up into the air of the contest. To Flack. No, no, that wasn't Flack. That was someone else. Might have been. Don't know. Here comes another Marlins player. I think that was. 
Eliza Smith? No, it wasn't. Anyway, it's a 50. Oh. Was a free kick to the Bombers, now it's a 50. To McDonald Stewart. Crowds are starting to roll in again. Oh, that would have been a good mark there by Sims. Umpires called a free kick, I believe. has called a ball up and the sky is starting to get a bit brighter again contest out through the legs Balkan lucky she kicked there because if she took another step she probably would have been nicked for holding the ball and I think it's a yeah, it's a ball up Bales, Sky Bailey, the good in the ruck there, won it. Out to Balkum again, I think. No, Balkum's over there. Balkum with the ball again, handballs out to Eliza Smith. Smith. Good chest mark by Courtney Barnett. To the opposition. To Molly Simpson, I think it was. Yep, Simpson is too fast for the Bombers to catch up to her. And then Rose are behind. Yeah, Rose are behind, I think. Yeah, behind. Ran into this good bump there. Time for Tash Gregory to pop up. Good kick there by Dixie Butler. Good chest mark there by Natasha Flint, I think. Or Jade Critchett, either one of them too. I think it was Critchett. Or kick to Carmen Lennon. Oh no, that was Sky Bailey. Bailey out to... Pritchett. Welcome, Hamble, to Astley. And it's another behind to the Mountains. Nelson Bay have been the dominant scoring team in this quarter. And obviously the whole game because they're leading. <laughs> Molly Simpson at it again. Almost had that. McDonald Stewart, Simpson, Acton, Wood. Wood kicks out of the contest. Yeah. Over to... Nice kick. Over to Jared Miller. Page. Page to No Man's Land. Pulley Peachy and... Oh wait, no, Claudia Walters. Toka. To Gregory. Oh, no. Usually a good defender and very good at taking marks there. Tash Gregory. Eliza Smith back to Simpson. Too easy. Too easy shot to Molly Simpson. Never seen her in the rosters before, so she's probably. No coming from the juniors or from a different sport or from a different club. But anyway, 
She's played good this game. She's played awesome. She's played absolutely awesome. And we've got about 9 minutes 50 seconds left in the final turn. So football back ready to keep on playing. Yeah. It seems to be quite well there in the rock and the umpire has called a free kick to Nelson Bay. To Molly Fraser, who I haven't really seen this whole game. Jenkins out to Grieve. It's a good chest mark there by Grieve. Martial arts sensei of coastal martial arts. To Butler. Awesome chest mark from Butler. Awesome. Nash needs to make a wise option. And, oh, I reckon she could have easily held that back to the Marlins. Kelsey Acton, all by herself. I reckon she could have probably had a bit of a run there. Barnett, oh, awesome chest mark. That's a spoil and it's gone out on the fall. Eight minutes left. The Marlins are leading 6 6 42 to 1 3 9. The 33 point lead they have. And it's another behind to the Bombers. Gonna make that 32. Out to Astley's. Jenkins. Pretty good spoil there. Holland. Out to Pritchard. Pritchard. Sorry, Pritchard. And it's a free kick to the Bombers, I reckon. It's Caitlin Sims that has it. Yep, Caitlin Sims to Georgia Butler. Clouds are starting to rolling again. Jenkins. Would have been Jenkins' first goal of 2018. If she got that through. And yeah, it's a free kick. To Megan Jenkins. Hey. It's a free kick to Megan Jenkins of the Bombers. Going for her first goal of 2018. She's done it. Too easy. Megan Jenkins kicks her first goal for 2018. And to lift the Bombers a bit closer to the lead. So... It's a 26 point ball game here at Adelaide Street Oval. They'll still need another five goals in six minutes. Don't know if that can be achieved, not to be negative or anything, but it will be very hard to achieve. As Nelson Bay are a very good side. <laughs> Their defense, they've been good all game. Yeah, good tackle. Ashley Page tackled to the ground by Norton. And it's Page with the free kick. Out to... Back to the Marlins. Gemma Astley. Astley out to Page. Drop, dropped it. Norton comes in, ruins the party. Up high. Is 
Shadow Grieve, Jesse Jones out to no man's land. Gregory, just a small kick over to Dixie Butler. Georgia Butler, back to Dixie Butler. P.S. them two are unrelated. And it's to Gemma Astley once again. Very good defender for the Marlins. Oh, that one have been an awesome chest mark there by Sky Bailey. Barnett and Fraser. Fraser tackles Barnett to the ground. Didn't have it. And back to Sims. Barnett handles to Page. The ball's in no man's land. Good tackle there by Barnett. Good tackle. And the ball is now in the hands of the umpire. Three minutes 40 left to go. Both teams have played very well here. But obviously it's the Marlins that will be going back up to Nelson Bay to spread the good news around. Let's see on Bay's ball again. <laughs> Back to Paige. Out to Gregory. Gregory could have easily had that. Gregory kicks out to <coughs> Wood. Wood to Jenkins. And it's gone out on the fall. Clouds are starting to darken the daytime a bit again. Making the level nice and cool. Instead of boiling hot like last week. Last week it was about 32 degrees up at Warner's Bay. Not really the kind of weather you'd want to play a game of footy in. Out to Pritchett. Pritchett out to Holy Peachy. Holy Peachy handles to Gregory. Gregory kicks out of the contest. Out of the pack. The Marlins will easily have the ball again. Out to Eliza Smith. Can she go for another goal for the Marlins? I reckon she can. I reckon. That might have been a bit high there. The good don't argue there. And she's missed it. One minute thirty seconds left. It was a good don't argue there by Jesse Jakubowski. Lennon. Come on, Lennon. <laughs> Ready to continue the play in the dying seconds of the game. Jamilo Smith. A very easy shot for Eliza Smith. Easy shot for Smith, and we've got about 46 seconds left. And um, Jesse Jones is having a bit of trouble with her calf. Less than 30 seconds to go. Both teams, Kalani Vale and Nelson Bay, they've played good throughout the whole game. But it's the Nelson Bay Marlins that will come away with the win in round two. By no doubt, it's Nelson Bay that will take the win. 7 7 49 to 2 4 16. 
three point victory to the Marlins, it is. There's the siren. It's Nelson Bay that come away with the win. Very anticipating game of footy. Very anticipating. But it's the Marlins that were the winners of the day here at Adelaide Street Oval. They win by 33 points. 7749 to 2416 over the Bombers. Last time these two sides met, it was a real blockbuster, but it was also a time when the Marlins ended up coming away with a win. Carnival are not looking very happy here after today's result in front of a home crowd. <laughs> Nelson Bay on the other hand however showing sympathy but still proud of the win. <laughs> Everyone all tired out. A bit of extra after siren footage. Nelson Bay, first grade, warming up, umpires. Getting ready to start the game. There's a uh, siren that will herald the few minutes before the start of the Black Diamond Cup game between Kalani Vale and Nelson Bay. So it's Nelson Bay that come away with the win. Thank you for watching. We will be back next week on the on the 21st of April where Kalani Vale will see their second home game in a row against New side Terry Gullivoka in the women's car.